Welcome everyone to the special council meeting uh, for the 3rd of November and uh, I'll now call the meeting open at 1.05 p.m. Uh, there are no uh, requests for leave of absence or apologies. Uh, we'll go straight through to item five, declarations of conflict of interest. Uh, uh, councillors, you have the, the um, agenda items in front of you. Uh, does anyone wish to disclose any conflicts of interest? No? Okay. Let's, let's move on then. Item 6.1, special meeting, is the adoption of Council's annual report for 2020-2021. Uh, now that is at page 5 and the recommendation is that Council adopt the South Bennett Regional Council 2020-2021 annual report for the period 1 July 2020 to 30 June 2021. Do we have a mover? Thank you Councillor Potter. Second to Councillor Duff. Uh, councillors, questions, comments, Mr. CEO. Yeah, Thank Mayor, you. could we, could may I, with the indulgence of the council, just add uh, as amended to the end of that? Uh, and may I go first? Yep. Thank you. There were, with sending it out with the agenda and part of the agenda and the feedback process that we've got along, we had a number of um, uh, responses to date. Uh, the annual report will go up on the uh, website within 14 days of it being adopted today, and it's in the statutory requirement. But Linnell, I think it's, um, I'm going to get my page numbers wrong here. It's page 32 of the, did you, f you did that one? Anyway, it's page 32 of the actual annual report, page 38 in the agenda. There was, um, the audit committee's got, and so this is the sort of changes that we've got back after a million eyes have read it. Uh, the audit committee is the audit and risk committee, not the, just the audit committee anymore. So that name change had to be done. Uh, it was on page 98 of the, um, and there's quite a few of these I won't go through, but I'll just pick out some of the examples for you. So page 98 of the actual annual report, which will be about page 100 and something of the, okay, page 104 of the agenda, the table of contents. Uh, there's three spots there when, um, and don't ask me about the mysteries of computers where it's picked up actually the wrong page reference when it's done the, for those who are word clever and can do the table of contents. Uh, so it's picked up, there's three pages there. And probably the other one, which is um, an example of, of, of um, we've got them all marked out and everyone. So on page 108 of the annual report, which would be probably about 111 of the four employee benefits. Um, you'll see page 108, oops, I'm blind, 109, okay, it's about 114 of the agenda, uh, no, that's not it, okay, I've thrown them there, the employee benefit one's number four, okay, if you've got, oh yeah, no, it is there, um, if you scroll down, Linnell, when it's converted across to PDF, Notice the word travel, which is the telltale. When it's actually converted across to PDF, it's broke travel up, but it's actually dropped a digit as it's gone across. So this has been, um, so one of the numbers, that number's incorrect because it's, it's the table's moved and it's dropped one of the digits. So we've been through the um, uh, general manager Jarvis has got the auditors to run their eye over it. And between us all, we've picked up a number of mistakes like that. So they will be corrected in the uh, the agenda uh, for the or the agenda for the annual report. It will be uh, councillors. We were going to provide you with a hard copy, a bound hard copy of the final product, and it will also be correct for when it goes onto the website. So that's why the addition. There's there's others which I could chat you through. Some of them um, spacing. Um, some of the ones that came back from the auditors as well was uh, this table is a different font size to the other table. Uh, what we did try to do was make the document look pretty, as lame as that probably sounds. But so some of the tables are different, but you have it flush, the columns flush on both sides of the page in the margin rather than having... Anyway, so yeah, so, so there's some artistic debate going on as to some of those sorts of things. And if anyone does spot up a typographical or any other form of um, grammar error in it, uh, we're just tidying it up after this meeting today and it will go up very shortly. So very, very happy to take any of that, as long as it's not a substantive change to content. Uh, if you do pick up anything, um, we would be very pleased to hear about it. Thank you. 
very much, Mr. CEO, for that uh, work undertaken in terms of reviewing the document. Of course, it is a very large, it's a comprehensive document uh, with an extensive array of uh, body of information. So thank you for that and picking up those uh, few typos and, and adjustment um, issues. Uh, Councillors Potter and Duff, are you happy to include the words as amended into the motion? Yes, Mr Mayor. Yes, thank you both. Thank you, councillors. Okay, so we have um, the motion there, uh, council. Uh, any speakers, questions or comments in relation to the proposed report? If not, we will go to the vote. Oh, sorry, Councillor oh, Duff. Th thank you, Mr Mayor. I, I think it's worthy of comment to say that there's obviously a lot of work in this um, annual report. I think it's um, very comprehensive. It's a, uh, a good opportunity for ratepayers to just have a, a look at what happens over in, a, in a year of council. And I hope that um, the community and rate, like community take up that, that option of having a look at the annual report. It's really our, um, our Bible, if you like, um, of what we do um, for that whole 12 months. And yeah, just wanted to just commend the staff on all of their, their work. It's a, it's a, a massive document and um, not to be taken lightly. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's big business that we that we're dealing in, and just wanted to, um, yeah, just thank everyone for their participation over the last twelve months in putting this together. Whoever um, did the bulk of the work, just congratulations. It's a, it's a very very comprehensive document. Thank you, Councillor Duff. Yeah, look, uh, absolutely, um, Mr. CEO. Please convey to your team. I know there's been a number of people involved in this process. Uh, Council's appreciation for the significant amount of work that's gone into it. Um, it's not just a document that's a dust collector. It tells a tremendous story about the work that's been undertaken um, by council over the course of that financial year, and it certainly does. Um, uh, it certainly does raise one eye, one's eyebrows to see how much work has been completed. It's as Councillor Duff have said. Uh, could I also applaud um, Mr. CEO, you and your team on the content. And also the presentation. I think this is probably the best annual report I've seen uh, as someone that does read these documents uh, in my time in doing so. So thank you. Ex excellent work. Okay, let's go to the vote. Those in favour? Carried unanimously. Thank you all. Item, the next item is uh, item 7.1. 7 um, and the recommendation is that Council considers the confidential reports listed below in a meeting closed to the public in accordance with Section 254J of the Local Government Regulation 2012, 7.1, update on the management of Mergen Jubilee Swimming Pool. This matter is considered to be confidential under Section 254J-E, uh, which is, uh, which is uh, as stated, as presented in the agenda. Do we have a mover for such? Councillor Henshin, seconder, Councillor Potter. Okay, any concerns? If not, we'll go to the vote. Those in favour? Carried unanimously. Thank you all. Now call the meeting. Uh, we'll adjourn the meeting as we go close into committee. Thank you. Okay, we're now back into open council meeting um, and we're dealing with item 7.1. The recommendation is that council accept this report for information on the management of the Mergen Jubilee swimming pool. Do we have a mover? Councillor Froloff, seconded Councillor Potter. Uh, speakers, go to the vote. Those in favour, carried unanimously. Thank you all. That is all of the items on the special meeting agenda now dealt with and I'll call the meeting closed at 1.23pm. Thank you all for your attendance.